Hey everybody, Justin here with Ultra Bright Lights and I'm here with our 49 inch version of our brand new UBL tailgate bar. Uh, a few weeks ago we asked you for some questions that you had about the product and we printed them out. I got them here in my jar. I'm going to pull them out uh, at random and answer them for you. This one is from Jay Marcos. Can you flash both lights at the same time, like white and blue at the same time, not white then blue? I have both wires tied together and still can't get that flash pattern. Uh, so it sounds like you're asking for simultaneous flash patterns rather than one than the other. Uh, with this, because it's a dual color, it's going to alternate between the two. Um, if it is something that you want, let us know. Uh, if enough people want it, we can add that in where and have both colors flash simultaneously. Next question is from Brett Zaskin. Do y'all make a wiring mount that connects to the light bar switch? A wiring mount that connects. Uh, we have switch panels, uh, switch boxes, uh, something like the 4200 Mini, the UBL 1100 switch box, um, the UBL switch panels, all those would work. And uh, depending upon how many functions you want, would determine how many switches you need. And then you can have those control different function of the light bar. Does it double as a floodlight or program as a courtesy light when door is opened? Uh, currently not at the moment, but we are uh, looking for some feedback on that. It would raise the cost a little bit, probably about 10 to 20%, but uh, it's something that we could add in. If it's something that you want, let us know, and uh, we can definitely consider that for a future update. Hunter King asks, how close of a match is the red-blue colors to Phoenix products like the Fusions? So this is an SAE compliant product, uh, just like all the Phoenix Fusion products. They all fall within the spectrum of approved blues, reds, whites, and ambers. Um, so being that they all meet the SAE rating, they might be slightly different, but they're all going to fall within that spectrum, and they are going to be SAE compliant. How are the directional patterns controlled? That is a pattern on the light. So if I wanted to activate the flash, uh, sorry, the directional, I would have to change the flash pattern and activate that uh, using the wiring harness. Next question is from Nick. Is the pattern selector one of those rocker switches that's connected to the cigarette lighter plug? Also in the description it says it has directional. Can you select your directional on demand or do you have to switch early patterns? This looks like the same question. So uh, just again, it's hardwired. There is no cigarette plug. It looks hardwired just like this. And it's going to be one of the patterns. So you have to either preset it to one of the modes or you'll have to, uh, not modes rather, the, one of the color wires. You'll have to preset it to do the directional pattern. Um, but again, that's also something we're looking for some feedback on that kind of ties in with having multiple modes that you can control each function. Um, it would raise the cost again, but we are looking for feedback. So if you're interested, let us know in the comments below. The more people that want it, uh, the more likely it's to happen. Do you make one that can do stop, turn, tail, backup when not being used as a warning device? Uh, no, it seems we initially we had a lot of feedback that people didn't want that. Um, so it currently will only flash, uh, just those all different flash patterns. Um, a lot of people told us that the stop, turn, tail, backup function was gimmicky. That was a, a popular uh, feedback that we got. Uh, if you disagree, again, leave a comment below, let us know. And uh, if it's something we see enough people want, um, then we can add that. Looks like my last question here is from Jacob. How is it going to mount? So it's going to come with a variety of brackets. And then in addition to that, just good old fashioned double stick tape. This is 3M VHB tape, very high bond. Uh, it sticks to the back of the light. It'll work just like the VHB tape that they use on your vehicle to mount the trim pieces to the vehicle. So it's super strong. Um, it's not gonna come off in heat or cold or anything like that. In addition to the tape, we have the clip mounts. These simply just snap onto the back like so. These are best if you're using it on the tailgate bar and you have um, a hole where you need access to drop down the um, spare tire. This will allow you to unclip the light if you ever need to access your tire in an emergency. Uh, you can easily unclip the light and move it out of the way so you can get to that hole and drop down your spare tire. And the last one is our, what's intended to be a rocker bar, but I have seen people use them for other things. Um, so this one clamps on the light just like so. And you just simply slide it in between a dead spot or a spot where there's no LEDs and set that up um, on your rocker panels and it mounts to the vehicle just like that and that'll hold it on there. Uh, it's a little bit more of a permanent mount than just the clip because the clip uh, is meant to be semi-permanent and the tape's permanent also. That was all my questions. Uh, if you have any more, let us know. We can always answer them uh, you know, by email, phone, Facebook Messenger, however you want to get it to us. Um, any other questions, 
Besides that, leave them in the comments. Any feedback, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.